You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 25th. Our readings are Nehemiah chapter 13, Amos chapter 5 and 2 Timothy chapter 2. And our thought is, Who desire the day of the Lord? In Amos we read, Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord. Why would you have the day of the Lord? Chapter 5 verse 18. This verse provides food for much thought. We desire the day of the Lord. Why? Because we long for the day when our Saviour comes, when he reigns over all the earth and controls the nations, as we will read in Micah next week, in chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. What kind of people desire the day of the Lord when they should, when they should not? They were only hearing half the message of the prophets, just like they do today, when many churchgoers think God is purely a God of love. A contemporary of Amos was Obadiah, whose short message we will read next week. He wrote, For the day of the Lord is near and upon all nations. Chapter 1, verse 15. Many of the people in Israel were looking for that day to come so that their enemies would be destroyed, blind to the fact that they deserve destruction too. Only those truly trying to walk righteously in the sight of God should desire the day of the Lord, knowing it will be a time of distress for all nations. The words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 are challenging, but for the sake of the elect, these days will be cut short. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, verses 22 and 27. And while those verses primarily deal with the events of AD 70, they have nevertheless a shadow or echo of what is still to come. The events surrounding our Lord's coming will be a great shock, in fact, the greatest shock our world has ever had. Will it be a shock for believers also? What does Jesus tell us? He tells us he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect, the children of Israel. The day of the Lord was coming on Israel in those days, was to particularly affect certain classes of people. Ponder what the Lord inspired Amos to write. Woe to those who lie on beds of ivory and stretch themselves out on their couches, who sing idle songs to the sound of the harp, invent for themselves instruments of music, who drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the finest oils. Chapter 6, verses 4 to 6. The words of Amos are very appropriate for the way many live today. They live for for the here and now, and they find it impossible to believe in any long-term future. Let us make sure we desire the day of the Lord for the right reasons, being fully aware of what is to take place in that ultimate day when Jesus returns and the final utterly wondrous day of the Lord occurs. Remember how we were very conscious of this in our reading of Joel's prophecy just a few days ago. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.
Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at btf at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen. Thank you.